Okay, I took and made the sides of this first piece. I started over here, made it four inches wide and followed the sides of the boat. Stopped about, I don't know, about 14 or 16 inches up. Got me a string, made my radius, and then I cut out the front part of my combing. The jigsaw. So now I can uh, form the back piece. And then the back piece will have a little bit of the radius in it to come back to this uh, the deck beam. So the radius is going to come from here a little bit back to where the seat's going to be. And I made this 36 inches, the opening from the back seat. The back of the seat to the front of the combing made it 36 inches because that's about where you'd be if you want to get your knees up a little bit. My son measured it up for me. Alright, I got the back piece of the deck cut out. I got the rest of the circle in the back cut out. Um, got the sides cut. I kind of I left them overlapped and then I cut through both of them at the same time to get them even. And I'm just going to strap this thing down. I'm not going to epoxy it till tomorrow, so I'm going to strap it down and see if that kind of helps give it a shape overnight. All right, getting ready to epoxy up my uh, back piece. The joint here, I just made me some little blocks, and I'm going to go uh, it's two and a half inches on each side, and it'll actually fit right in there. So this way, uh, I'm going to do the whole underside of my combing with three eighths ply. I'm just going to keep cutting pieces to fit just so it's got a little bit of extra strength so if anybody leans on this edge or whatever it's not gonna crack in half okay I got the back deck uh, epoxy nailed down um, and then I put my blocks in there with some epoxy on it to uh, block the two joints of the plywood on the top okay you can see my pattern I uh I laid out my pattern with the one inch blue painters tape and then I started staining each little line after I epoxied so the epoxy won't let the stain get on there so I just stain it, wipe it because it does get a little dingy on the, the fiberglass but once it gets all cleaned and rubbed out it'll be fine. Okay I got all my staining done. The top's done. I haven't epoxied the top after I stained it yet because it's like 20 degrees now. The uh, cockpit's all done, cut out. I put two little, uh, you can see where I put my joints here. I put some 3 8 ply on the bottom and I'm going to run that all the way around the underside lip and on the outside lip just to give the cockpit a little bit more strength and then I'll start working on my seat and the uh, the foot braces I have to wait till spring because it's like I say 20 degrees in the shop now